should be allowed in what bathroom? The national question now takes center stage in Nebraska. With both sides staying firm in their beliefs, the transgender community says it's a matter of human rights, but they face high profile opposition in the state. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Griswold. And I'm Craig DeCrelli. The Obama administration has directed schools to allow transgender students to use the bathroom where they feel most comfortable. Top state officials have vowed to fight that plan. Reporter Joe Kadat is live with the latest. Joe? Craig, Jen, Governor Ricketts says it's not just about preventing transgendered students from using bathrooms shared by the straight students that they share the sex they identify with, but it's about standing up to a federal government that Ricketts says continues to impede local and state laws. Others we spoke with today say it's not that simple. Attorney Joni Stacy says the guidelines released by the Department of Education last week shouldn't be controversial. That's because they're simply a reference to civil rights laws from the 1970s that protect students from discrimination. I, I believe it is a civil rights issue, a human rights issue, and they do have the support of every major medical and mental health association in the country that's come out with a position statement in support of gender identity being a real medical condition. Governor Pete Ricketts is one of many parents who says they're not comfortable with their kids sharing a bathroom with someone who's transgendered. Ricketts has three teenage children. So as a parent, I would be very concerned if somebody of the opposite gender was trying to use the same bathroom as my child. And here is a case where we have got to make sure we're thinking about the privacy rights of the vast majority of students. Ricketts says he opposes the Department of Education guidelines not only because of who uses what bathroom, but because he is sick of the federal government making local decisions. I said this to all the school boards as well. I urge you not to be bullied by this federal administration. This is the way the Obama administration wants to operate. They want to just do things they want to do without going through the proper processes. Some parents we've talked with say they're concerned that someone will use the guidelines to pose as a transgendered student to victimize people of the opposite sex. It just doesn't happen, and so there have been over 200 municipalities across the country that have had anti-discrimination ordinances in place for as many as 20 years, and your scenario that you just talked about hasn't, hasn't happened. Despite Governor Ricketts telling us that schools don't have to follow those federal guidelines because they're not law, local schools could potentially lose out on some federal dollars if those federal guidelines are not followed. Reporting live in Southwest Omaha, Joe Kadat, KMTV Action 3 News. The bathroom question continues to be a hot button issue across the nation. A new poll shows a country divided. The CBS News poll indicates 46% of Americans say transgender people should use the bathroom of the gender they were born as. 41% believe it should be the one they identify with. The poll showed regional differences with the Midwest and South opting for gender at birth. The survey asked Americans if state and local leaders or the federal government should set bathroom guidelines for transgender students. The majority opted for local leadership, 57 to 35 percent. Treat all of Nebraska's youth the same or 